Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a nice easy trick that just uses a card. And ready? Here we go. We can take this card and we can change this card into a different card. So let's get into how to do that. Alright, so for this trick all you're going to need is three different cards to change from face to face. You need two cards that you're going to change and then one indifferent card if you want to use a joker you can use a joker you can use whatever you want if you want to change the back colors you need one that's a different color back than the other and then the last one doesn't really matter so you'd want two blues and a red or two reds and a blue so you need three cards and you need a glue stick and that's really it so get your supplies and let's get into how to make it. Alright, so making the gimmick, one of the cards is going to act as your base. So for now we're just going to set it to the side, we're not going to do anything with it. The other two cards you need to fold in half so that the face is on the face. So you would fold it just like that, kind of crease the center a little bit and then just fold it over keep folding and there you go so you notice it's not perfect you can see that there is a little bit of space in between but it's pretty darn close so I've got the face on the face I do the same thing with the other card I'm going to change it into in this case I'm changing from the six of hearts to the two of clubs so I do the same thing I get about halfway and I just start to fold now if you want it to be super super exact you can take a ruler and you can measure oh where's the halfway point but for me this is gonna work this is good enough so that's step one. Now you have two folded cards and one that's still acting as your base. For step two, we're going to start to join the cards. So the first step is to take the two of clubs in this case, and we're going to glue it onto the three of hearts. So we're replacing the face of the three of hearts with the two of clubs and the six of or and the six of hearts. Excuse me, just like that. So, you take your glue stick, you glue the back of the two of clubs, just like that. Make sure you get all the edges and the corners. Perfect. So then we line it up with the three until we see that they're in line, just like that. And then I press down, press down, press down, press down. But I'm not gluing this side. That's key. Don't glue this side. Just glue the top half. And for most of the cards, it doesn't matter which side is top, which side is bottom. The other card is the six of hearts. So this is going to dry a little bit. Just give it a little pressure. And then with the six of hearts, I'm going to put it like this. So I'm going to glue this side first, just like that. Get a whole bunch of glue going. Again, it's super important that you get the sides, the edges of the card. And then I'm just going to line it up, square it up, just like that. Press, 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 press. Press them so that they're together. Press them nicely. Hey, there we go. Now the last step is just to glue this down to this. So I'm actually going to put the glue on the three of hearts. But you really got to make sure you're getting 
you're getting in there and getting the whole side and then again I'm just gonna press it down press it down press it down until it's sticking where I want it to stick before you use it let it dry for just a little bit uh, you can put you know a book or whatever on top of it if you want get a nice glue stick that's gonna stick um, if you want to use something like an Elmer's glue stick that works the one that I'm using is a scotch permanent glue stick it um, it is a li I, I think it's a little better than the Elmer's glue stick but really you just need it to stick well enough that it's not going to go anywhere when you're messing around when you're handling with it so let it dry and then we'll get into how you use it all right so using the gimmick it's going to be kind of sticking up like this what you want to do is you want to push it down and crease and then come the other way push it down and crease and it's going to be a little difficult at first but it's important that you get a nice solid crease so that it can stand flat like that or it can stand flat like that so if you haven't figured it out yet basically what's going to happen is it's going to change from here to here so I'm going to give you guys a little routine that just uses a deck of cards so if you have a duplicate card, if you have a duplicate to one of these two, you can use it and have them pick it, if you know how to force, you can have them, you can force a card, I don't have any duplicates, but let's say that this was the two of clubs, you force the two of clubs using, you know, whatever, a riffle force or, you know, whatever you want to do, and there's the two of clubs. This is the second card from the top. So using a riffle force, it's the second card from the top. I want this opening. One side is going to have an opening. You can see that this side doesn't really have much of an opening. This side is where the opening is. Okay. So you want the opening to face you so that from the front it looks flush. So there's the two, or your force card. You riffle down, you have them pick the two. Now this is the card here that I'm going to use. I say we can just bury it. And I want it to be open to the one that's not the two on the top of the deck. And then I can turn, I can pick up the whole card and say, look, it's the six, right? Well, let's see if we can do something crazy and just change it into your two. What? So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, you can do this just as a standalone. Just be like, hey, did you know that you can change twos into sixes? So basically how that works is I take my hand and I push up so right here there's the opening and I'm gonna push right here into that opening and and move my hand so there's the opening there's naturally gonna be that opening I take these two fingers and I pinch that opening you can use these two if you're more comfortable just because then it would hide basically the whole card but again you just pinch and turn and you can show your hand empty before and after so again just into the opening and turn so pretty cool effect pretty easy Again, I mean, you can do it solo, just like that. And then you can show both sides, which I also like. Yeah, the being able to show both sides to me makes it so much more magical. 
Now, that's your performance. You can take this, you can apply it into whatever fashion you want. You can go from blue to red. You can go from six of hearts to six of hearts again. If you really wanted to, I don't know why you do that. But you guys can have some fun with it. You can mess around. So just getting into some maintenance. As you can see here with the six, the, uh, the hearts little pieces are kind of, you know, that you can see the crease. So my suggestion is, now on this one you can't see it because I, I don't have a pip there. But the ink is going to fade a little bit at the crease. So my suggestion is if you have a red Sharpie, red Sharpie, you can actually color in those pips just to kind of, make it look as if there really is nothing happening now if I start with this six and that was my whole intention was I was gonna start with the six and then wave into the two then I don't have to worry about the two which is fine but let's say you wanted to go from the six of six of hearts to ten of hearts or something then yeah you would have to take your sharpie you know, and you'd have to very carefully just kind of go in and fill in. Just like that. And so now you can see it looks much, much better. The other thing is that sometimes, like up here, it looks like a whole bunch of cards you know you can see that the edges don't line up perfectly same thing over here these edges don't line up perfectly so you can if you're super worried about it you can take some scissors and you can trim it the reason I don't do that is because I can't hand this gimmick out anyways if I hand it out they'll go oh yeah, I know exactly how he did that. So because I can't hand it out, I'm not really that worried about these little, little imperfections. You know, it's, it's off a little bit, yeah. But I can live with that because, again, I just, I just go like that and then that's it. And this card is like out of sight, out of mind. I'm not messing around a whole lot with this anymore. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I hope that you are able to use this routine in a fashion that suits you. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and I'll see you guys soon.